Hey, how's it going? I think zoning laws are fucked up. Yeah, it, it helps different neighborhoods continue a, a certain look. It does help places from looking kind of cluttered. Um, I think there should be, you know, well, this is the suggested type of place that should go here, but it isn't required that that kind of place should go there. Um, I think if someone wants to put whatever the fuck they want on their land, they should be able to do it as long as it isn't, you know, it isn't causing pollution, you know, there isn't noise pollution, they aren't spewing garbage everywhere, they're not making the air unbreathable, that sort of thing. You know, if they're not causing direct, they're not causing you a problem, then it's none of your business how they keep their yard or what, how many people they have in their yard or how many cars are in their yard or any of that. It's just, it's none of your business. You know, there's, there, if someone wants to have a yard and fill it with, uh, with 20 trailers, but it's normally just, you know, you'd, you'd normally consider it just a regular uh, neighborhood, but someone wants to put 20 trailers in their yard and have people living at them, that's up to them. I think this, you know, dumping these zoning laws would, uh, would end a lot of homelessness. There, there, would actually, there would actually be a lot of affordable places for people to live. And some people go, well, but I want to live in a place that looks all this way. Fine, fine. You can have some sort of gated community, you know. It's gated so it's the general public can't go through. You want your, your special little leave it to beaver gated community where the houses can only be this color and the grass can only be this long and your grass has to look like this and there has to be a lawn. You can't choose something alternative unless it's approved by a panel of people which probably won't approve it because, you know, everything the same, uh, <laughs> you know, you want to have that, fine, uh, go to your little gated private little community, fine. Um, <laughs> one of the things that, that, that kind of gets to me a bit, and because it, it just people don't seem to understand, some people don't understand what it could be like to be homeless. I, I haven't really truly been in that kind of situation. I've been very close, but I haven't truly been in that kind of situation. And one of the things is when if you're if you're already, but but I can I can at least put on the shoes of of people who have, and I've talked with enough people who have. But if if you. If you're at a point, you've, you've already hit bottom, you don't have a home, um, and now, in order to survive, you know, you, you, can't, you, you can't just put a tent up somewhere because, well, you know, well, you're not supposed to do that. So you're supposed to go to some shelter where you're supposed to, well, there's going to be some bits of in religious indoctrination at, at most of them, not all of them. but oh, well, you have to go to bed at this time, and you have to get up at this time, and you have to do all these things at this time. Well, you're already homeless. Why are you supposed to follow a whole bunch of fucking rules if you're homeless already? You're already at the bottom of the barrel. No, nope, no, nope, in order to survive, you need to follow all these rules, rules that a lot of people aren't following who aren't homeless. Yeah, that's, that's why so many homeless people will choose to just go do what they do as far as... as going to find some foresty spot that they don't think many people go to and they'll they'll just make their home there or something because they're not having to live according to other people's rules if someone's homeless why why should you be living according to other people's rules well you know if you want to be a, a productive uh, and it's just like look they're already at that point Now some, you know, I could ask, well, have, have, 
You know, have you been there? Have you been in that situation? And you might go, yeah, and I got myself out of that right away. I picked myself up by my bootstraps and do dip dip dip. You know, it, one of the things there is, I mean, most of the time when people have said that, they have a family. You've had a family to take care of. Now, there are definitely homeless families, and, and they usually try to take care of this stuff a lot more quickly. Um, but if they're not, and they don't, someone doesn't see any hope that they can become a, a, a regular, productive citizen, they, they've already reached this point. Why do you expect them to just, well, I'm going to have to gonna live by this set of rules even though they're already at the bottom, if I already hit bottom? If you really think that's what people should do or that's, you know, it, yeah, uh, welcome to why we have such a high percentage of our population in, in jail and in prison. You know, so I think zoning laws suck. You know, it, yeah, it means that it'll be hard to tell the difference between a business district and a residential district. Oh, boo-hoo. You know, we're supposed to be living in a free country where we should, I mean, land ownership is supposed to be one of the big things here, and yet you own land and you're supposed to do only these very particular things with it. And it's just like, well, then it's not really my land, is it? I mean, that's what it would, it would feel like. You spend all this money on this land and then you can't even do with it what you want. The smallest of, of things and you have to get some permit for it. <laughs> Want to build some little shack, a little storage shop? Time to get a permit, you know, and in some places it's, it's like that. Um, it, it's, it's stupid. Um, I understand that, you know, for the sake of uh, uh, making a sale, you're, you're selling something, yeah, it should have to come to certain standards for the sale. Or you can say, well, this stuff is unfinished and it's, you know, like, like stuff that's in the yard. This stuff is unfinished, it's not really considered a shed because it's not really finished because it doesn't come to these standards. Fine. But if it's your, if it's your land, why shouldn't you be able to do with it what you want? This, it, it's, it's strange, the ripples of, of this sort of thing. And like I said, it, this, this, getting rid of those kinds of zoning restrictions uh, would, could cut homelessness back a very, very, very big percentage. Very big percentage. But you know, we need to, we need to make those uh, landlords and all those other people, we need to make sure that they remain very wealthy and that we can just kind of scoot around the homeless. Oh, they're no longer in... Oh, we, we got them out of this area. Yeah, and you just scooted them to another area. And then they'll be scooted around to another area. Now, why can't they just go to the missions? Uh, because of the reasons I just said earlier. They're already at this point, they're not going to want to live by a whole bunch of fucking rules if they're, they're already... They, they, they view themselves as screwed already. No, they're, they're not going to do that. Well, they should. That's nice. Again, that kind of attitude is why we have so many people in prison. For, for a number of things. I'm not saying just for being homeless, but I mean... Once... Once someone hits this point where they, they, they feel hopeless, there are certain things they're going to, to do. Um... Some people do turn to crime. Some people, it's not even issue, necessarily an issue of homelessness. It's just when they feel completely disenfranchised. What do they do out of it? Okay, what can we do to reduce those feelings? But in the regard purely of this, the context of this video, what can we do to actually cut back on homelessness?
besides continuing to try to push push them all around because you, well they make this area look ugly and it becomes unsanitary and I'm just like well okay if it becomes unsanitary why not put shower facilities and 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 a bunch of trash bins that they can throw their stuff in oh no that's too logical and that would be that would be allowing them to to live how they want well they're going to regardless of what you say anyway you're not going to lock these people down into some very, very particular lifestyle. You know, that's the thing that, that we tend to do here. The classism that kind of goes, well, you're, you're poor, so you should be living like this. You're trash, you're crap, you're garbage, you're poor. That's the attitude. Then when people aren't that poor, people who are on disability income. People have that same attitude to they shouldn't have anything nice. Oh, that's nice. I mean, where did this sick idea come from? Unfortunately, I hear it from a lot of anarcho-capitalist libertarians. I hear it from a lot of just regular libertarians. I don't know if I've heard it from leftist libertarians because that concept kind of is messed up to begin with, but whatever. I'm sure they're out there. But I most often hear this from Republicans. Especially, especially the ones that consider themselves religious. Well, this is probably because they think the churches should be the ones to help them, to help them know the right time to get up and the right time, the right way to look at life and, and the right way to do everything because God and, and, and uh, uh, one nation under God and all that shit, right? Everyone should conform. Yeah, it's funny is, uh, you know, the Republicans tend to be the party of uh, trying to get everyone to conform, but now, now the left is becoming a party of, well, everyone needs to, uh, needs to conform to this ideology. I don't know, I, I'm, I'm way off track, I'm rambling now, so... <laughs> but zoning laws, for your zone only. Come build me through the night. Okay, anyway.